Young Show. Hello. Tonight we have something very beautiful to show you. In fact, it is considered one of the great masterpieces of the art world. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The sculptured head of the Egyptian queen, Nefertiti. It was carved over 3,000 years ago. This, of course, is a copy of the original, which is in the West Berlin Museum. It was unearthed in 1912 in Egypt from a rubble heap on the uh, wrong side of the Nile, so to speak. Anyway, there have been many stories of how this great treasure strayed so far from the palace grounds. And our story tonight is one of them. Nefertiti was the wife of Akhenaten, one of history's truly remarkable men and certainly Egypt's most original thinking pharaoh. The queen was her husband's intellectual equal, his adored wife. Akhenaten revolutionized Egypt's spiritual life by worshiping one god, a god who was all love, a god who made himself known to man through the sun's life-giving rays. This god was called Aton. General, the matter requires no thought. Bloodshed begets nothing, save more bloodshed. My only conclusion can be that you have not given the matter enough thought. The Hittites want war. We do not go to war, now or ever, with the king of the Hittites at the very palace gates. Which is exactly where in time he will be. General, the interview has ended. Your Majesty, please, you must listen to me. General has ended the audience. My lord, my queen. Play with your sisters, little one. against me? No. It is not that I'm against you, my husband. It is that I am for a strong Egypt. The general speaks as I would speak. What is rightfully ours must be defended unto death. The Hittites are our brothers. Our enemies. They would have your eyes on a stick. I am not their enemy in this. They will learn from my actions. You think too much of death. Yes, I know. I know I do. Because I cannot bear the thought of being separated from you. My queen. My queen, Aton, is a god of life. His light will make us strong. Strong and happy. Why do you question his counsel? Was it not Aton who bade me take you as my only wife. It was. One God, one wife. <gasps> Live in truth. Aton will reward you. My Lord, my Lord Pharaoh, forgive me, but he has recorded you embracing the queen. The artists were instructed to put down what they saw. But my Lord, I do not consider such a pose suitable for a public mural. Bring it to me. How are you called? I am the artist Tutmos. These are sketches for the great mural. Good, Tutmos. Make your sketches, artist. And show the children here with us at their play. And the queen beside me, her hand in mine. And the embrace. Record completely the beauty of a family blessed with Aton's love, so that my people may learn. Yes, my lord. That pleases you? There are great likenesses here. He is gifted. 
You work in stone, Tootless. Yes, my lord. And I charge you with the task of capturing in stone one of Aton's rarest creatures. So that when she returns to her maker, there will be left behind some true marker of her existence. Yes, my lord. Return to your work. Do not be sad. It is not for me. I think only of you. You're a wonderful woman, Nefertiti. If all women were as concerned for their husband's well-being as you, there would be no need for me to preach. All would know that one wife, like one God, is the way of life. It angers me, sir, that we do not always think alike. It must not anger you. Your question strengthened my faith. I believe that is part of Aton's plan. Do you, my lord? Oh, yes. All things are accountable to him. First, Your Majesty, I will work in clay. Then, using the clay model as a guide, I will carve the limestone. You may enter if you wish, though, sir. Your Majesty, I wanted to be certain that all the preparations meet with Your Majesty's approval. We are well pleased. Is that all? Yes, my Queen. And thank you for your attention. Your Majesty. With your help, it could be so easily achieved. General, you will never again come to me with your devious plan. Surely my queen does not agree with the pharaoh. It is not my position to agree nor disagree with my pharaoh. I do but my duty. I obey my lord's command. As you had better learn to do. Or I shall see to it, General. That you are exiled to the desert, where the jackals will devour your body and your soul. Now leave me. Your Majesty. scolded me so severely, and I only beat her a little. Your father has warned you repeatedly about lifting your hand to the slave. But she is so slow and stupid. Unless I beat her, she will do nothing. Enough, child. Your father's word is to be obeyed. But you do it all the time. Keep your silence. No, I don't understand. They are just slaves. Why can't I be? Keep your silence. <gasps> My love. It is right to strike me, and not the servant girl. My lord, how can I answer her questions when I do not understand the answers myself? There is never an excuse for violence. We are not beasts, but reflections of the God who made us. There is not in him but love. It must be the same with this creature. Oh, I... Your God expects too much of mere mortals. He knows our worth. He created us. Yes. I am pleased. Thank you, my queen. Even to the neck. Like a crane. Like a swan's. You may send word to me when the limestone is carved and you are ready to paint. Tutless. How long does the carving take? Usually many weeks. But I shall do it in half the time, knowing that the faster I work, the faster you will return. I will miss your presence with only the clay model to remind me of your beauty. You are young, Tutless. Youth has an extravagance with emotion. Take care. 
Choose your words more carefully. Or better still, live in silence. That is your expression. That is enough. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Yes, sir, sir. Your Majesty. I was curious as to the progress of uh, the Queen's statue. There it is. For all to see. Your Majesty. Sleep in peace, children. Sleep in peace, Father. Stay. Stick with me. Yes, my lord. Is there a wall of pebbles building up between us? Pebbles, my lord? Little misunderstandings, no larger than a pebble. If collected, they can build a wall as high as any stone fortress. We have had our misunderstandings of late. My love is always with you, my queen. And mine with you. All of it. But none of your faith. My husband... I can see a great deal of beauty in what you told me of that time. But I can also see a great deal of danger. Is it not possible that this god of yours could be a false god? False god? Yes, sir. Aton is no false god. Then I beg of you, show me. Give me some proof. I want to believe, but I can't. I have a feeling that he wants to destroy us. And he's going to do it by lulling you into a sense of false security with his words of love and goodness. Please, sire, I beg of you, give me some proof. My queen, for proof, I need only point to the flowers, the trees. Could a god who creates such beauty be a god bent on destruction? Perhaps he did not create the flowers and the trees. Perhaps Hathor did. Or I see. There is but one God. But how do you know? How do you know? Because Atan revealed himself to me. Revealed himself as the essence of unqualified love. Yes. Forgive me. I do not believe that we can live by his rules of love and mercy. I do not believe we are good enough. We cannot exist without them. We will slay each other down to the last man without his guidance. You do really believe we can live peacefully with our neighbors without fortresses simply by loving him and trusting him? Love is the strongest force in the world. Aton is a god of love. Your belief alone calms my fears. Somewhat. You have such beautiful skin. Forgive me. I do forgive you. Because you are young and foolish. But your majesty, the statue, let me finish it. Very well. Finish it if you wish. I care not. <laughs> insist upon war. No. The priest is secretly working against you. You've dethroned all that god. There is but one god. The priest will band with the army against you. We must be ready. I am ready. I am strong in my faith. Oh, my Pharaoh, can't you see? I see. I alone see. Aton, open the eyes of all your creatures. Help me. I am failing. Your Majesty. The artist is here with a statue to request an audience. Tell him no, not now. Wait. Have him bring it. My lord. Is this finished? I do not know. I have not posed of late. Magnificent. 
Magnificent, good Lord. You are too kind, my Lord. You've kept well the secret of what a truly fine work he's done. You have finished your task with great skill. My husband is pleased. My Lord? Hmm. Maid, when you first see her casually, she seems almost stiff, rigidly posed, but then a second glance breathes life into her. You see her strength and her spirit. Great inner tension. May the artist be about his work, my lord. Hmm? Well, yes, uh, you may return to your preparations for the great mural. And as my wife said, I am pleased. Thank you, my lord. There is in this all of the woman I love. He's done it with her husband's insight. Yes, yes. That's what worries me. Worries? He's young and handsome. The queen is very beautiful. It causes me much concern. Have you faith in nothing? Leave me. Your Majesty. Make it that all? Yes, Mother. Your father feels that you are not strong enough to endure the arduous trip to Babylon. Therefore, he has consented that Neferneferu be the future queen of Babylon. And I will rule Egypt, won't I, Mother? Yes, fair one. My firstborn. You may leave now. I will take the ring. I wonder, have you offended all the gods by singling out one? I wonder. Speak to me. Speak to me as you pass. Have I not warned you before, Artis? I love you. Oh, leave this palace at once before your loose tongue loosens your head. I regret this, Your Majesty. But I only tell you this because we are already in such grave danger. The temple priests working against us. The general is ready to turn. Oh, my pharaoh, if word of Queen Nefertiti's indiscretion were to... You heard nothing to warrant that word. He was on his knees before her, holding her hand, fervently declaring his love for her. You saw that? I heard. Think, Agneton. For years you've been preaching to your people the sanctity of marriage in the eyes of Aton. You paraded the streets with your wife and children circled around you to set an example of family unity. If now in the darkest hour of your religion, stories linking the queen and this young artist were to reach the eager ears of the ministers and the generals, they'll inflame the people and destroy you. And Aton. Queen did nothing. They'll say she encouraged him. Cannot destroy a god with lies. Many will believe. They can discredit you. And without you, your religion is lost. The artist must not leave the palace. His love for the queen must die with him. Oh. Send the jackal to me. Please, Adam, some sign. Illuminate me the way you have my husband. Make us one again. My doubts are pulling us apart. Please, I beg of you. Some sign that I may know you as he does. Oh, God, can 
see you now. As you stand there over this helpless man. He is to die. Why? What has he done? I will not speak of it. What has he done? No more, not another word. I cannot believe your behavior. No more than I could believe the charges, my queen. Then why did you not come to me for enlightenment? Not another word. Leave me. No, sire. This man has done nothing more than fall in love with his work of art. He confused this with being in love with me. You admit he voiced a love for you? Yes, sir. What was your answer? You do not know my answer? You doubt my love for you? You doubt me, your chosen wife of Atom. What do you believe in? Well, speak out, my lord. You are very good with words. Words of love and trust and mercy. Of a world flooded with light from a trusting, merciful God. At the time, you have no God. Baton is my God. And are you, as you stand there now, a reflection of his unqualified love? This man touched you, he must die. There is no excuse for violence. Those are your very words. Are they for everyone but you, my lord? And if the generals torture him and extract a confession that involves you, it will put an end to the people's faith. No. You will put an end to the people's faith if you sacrifice him to satisfy your jealousy. For from that moment on, you will be building on sand. Jealousy. Yes, my lord. For it is not help. But that. And pride. Release him. Go, Take the statue with you. My husband. I prayed to Atom for a sign. I believe he has sent it to me through you. Through you, he has proved that love is stronger than wrath. Oh, my true one. I praise that, Anton, for now we are one again. 